Hello, and welcome to the Wilcom Video Short Series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm going to show you how to use the, the basic borders uh, inside of the E4.0 program. I've got some objects already placed on my screen, and if you were um, in the middle of creating an object uh, like the circle we see here, we can automatically uh, do borders uh, with this by one, selecting the object by left clicking it. I'm going to navigate over. Uh, here are simple offsets. Okay. And this allows us to create offsets on different items as we're working with them on screen. As I left click, it's going to give us a, um, a, a menu here on our screen. And uh, I'm also going to go up top here. Cancel first. I'm going to use metrics. Okay. I'm going to click on my object on the screen here and select my simple offsets. So here it gives us a, some options here as far as using the offsets. You have your spacing here, which is going to be the distance from the outer edge uh, of the border is what that's going to represent. Uh, you have an option also to, to choose the number of, of offsets, whether, whether you want to have two, three, four, uh, five, that will use the same spacing here. Uh, you have your object type here. You have your run, you have a triple run stitch that can be selected, as well as a satin column C stitch. For instance, if I wanted to do uh, just a regular border around here with a running stitch, I can select that running stitch here. Um, I can choose choose not to create offsets for this uh, because I just have one single uh, outline here. As I click OK on the screen, as you can see, it automatically puts our border around it. I can click my select tool here and it add, adds the border just after the object stitches is what it does. Okay, and that is the uh, run stitch border. Okay, I'm going to unselect it. I'm going to go back here and select my object again, choose my simple offsets. This time, as I go in, I'm going to choose the triple run stitch. And when I choose triple run and select OK here, it's going to do a triple run, notably a little bit thicker than the previous uh, stitch. It will indicate this also inside the color object list here, showing you that this is a triple stitch. Okay. I'm going to undo this one to remove it. I'm going to select my item again. Uh, I'll go back here to the simple offsets tool, and this time we'll do a satin column C stitch. Once I click OK here, it'll automatically encircle the object with the input C stitch. <clears throat> the cool thing about this stitch is that we can go in and we can uh, select that stitch and as I navigate here to the object properties, we can increase or decrease the size of that by clicking on our little arrows here, making that larger if we want to, or making that smaller if we want to. Or we can just simple simply just click on the width and just type in uh, if I want to use this at 2.6 and press enter it will change it to that okay so that's the way that we can use the simple offset tool inside the program what we also can do here is I'm zooming in here I'm going to press T to hide the true view is we have the option here also of changing the offset right now the offset here is uh, set to 50%. If I choose to change that offset by clicking offset here, I have the ability to go inside here on whether side one or two. I can move that by moving this down. Okay, we're just going to push it out. I'm going to undo it. Or I can choose side two here by moving it up like this, pushing it out. Okay, or I can choose to grab that move that down also and it's going to push it to the inside so we do have options to choose from as far as going in and uh, and setting those up for that and um, that's how we can go in and adjust and change the offset pattern if I click on the center of course it's going to immediately take it back to the center okay If we want to use this, um, as I'm going to press the T for the true view here, um, on lettering, 
I'm going to press the number one key on my keyboard here. Now based on the size of the lettering here that you see, we have smaller lettering here. Uh, this text here on my screen here is uh, approximately in inches. The height of it is 0 0.512. Okay, In metrics, that's going to be 13.0. So as we, um, if we want to use the fonts here on the screen, the size is going to mean everything when you're doing the borders. Like for instance, right now, even if I right click on the column C stitch and I change the size of it to 1.0, um, when I go in and I choose the lettering here on the screen, if I decide to use a border for the simple offset here and try the satin column stitch, as I click OK, it's going to give me the border. You just want to be uh, careful that the border itself is not uh, overwhelming the inside fill of the letters like you see here. If I press the number one key on the keyboard here, uh, that is pretty small actually. So you might want to at this particular point either use the uh, triple stitch for this, uh, which would be another option that you have. As I select here, go back to my simple offset and choose a triple stitch and click OK. Okay. Now at one to one, uh, you're going to have a decent border coverage here, and you'll be able to see the inside field of the letters good enough to where they're not uh, over being overpowered by the border. Uh, of course, the larger that the letters are here, and we choose the offset, it will make more sense to be able to use a border like this in this particular reference here, because again. You don't want to, uh, you have a minimum uh, width of the column of about 1, 1 1.2 millimeters wide, and you don't want to overpower the inside fill of the letters here. Okay, and so that um, is going to wrap it up for this uh, quick uh, video here of how, just a basic on how to use the uh, simple offset border feature inside the Embroidery Studio E4 software. Thank you very much, and we ask that you visit us as always at www dot will come america dot com thank you